dogs are making a lot of noise right now, so if you hear ferocious growling, it's Koda. That is so fetch. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Kaya, and today we are going to be listening to Opeth for the very first time. I'm so, so excited. Y'all have been wanting me to listen to Opeth for a very long time. Ever since my video for death, um, y'all have been saying the gradual um, next band to listen to is Opeth. So, we are here, uh, pretty short intro. Instead of listening to multiple songs from their discography, we are going to be listening to their full album of Blackwater Park, which a lot of you have said is their best record. Um, and it has 99% of its listeners that really like this album, so says Wikipedia. So I'm very excited. Uh, death blew my mind and I, you know, Morbid Angel blew my mind. So we're here with another OG, Opeth. So uh, before we get into the video, one announcement. We do have a new Discord if you want to join. It is lovingly called The Mosh Pit. So if you want to join, I will have a link in the description down below. Come and join the party. We talk about so much metal, we share pet photos, we talk about food, uh, we've been sharing memes, and it's a great place to just hang out and, uh, you know, talk about metal, and uh, that's pretty much what I got going on, so if you want to subscribe, uh, feel free to like and share the video, obviously, uh, let me know down below too, uh, stuff about Opeth, I know that they're an OG band, I think they started in the early 80s, either 83 or 81, and I think they're from California. Um, so that's pretty much what I what I know. I'm just double checking those facts. Nope, just kidding. Wow, that was such a wrong. Who am I thinking of? Okay, so Opeth, Opeth is Swedish. <laughs> they're Swedish. Who was I thinking of? Um, and they formed in 1989. Well, wow, I got both of those things wrong. Great. So, ooh, so this is going to be really exciting. We haven't listened to Swedish metal, so without further ado, let's get into the video. So, I wanted to see this album cover for this. Blackwater Park. Ooh, super eerie. Hold on, girl. Ooh, and I like the, like, shadows in the background. This is very Swedish, giving me, like, some definite Swedish vibes. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is the first time we've actually gone outside of the U.S., I think. Oh no, we went, we listened to Slaughter to Prevail, which was Russian. So now we're going to Sweden. Um, ooh, it'd be kind of cool to have, like, a map and we just, like, put pins of all of the play countries that we listen to different metal, like where it all comes from, you know, ideas, eventually maybe. Okay. So the first song off of this album is called Leper Affinity. Ooh. Oh, very unsettling beginning. Ominous. It's like a horror movie. We're about to get into some real, real shit, aren't we? Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> some like panned vocals in the beginning that beginning scared the crap out of me stop it wow Ooh, that's 
delicious. Ooh, that transition was so clean. It makes me think of like, so I play D and D, and not by myself. Don't play D and D by yourself. <laughs> but this makes me feel like I'm on an adventure. Oh, I love it. I feel like I'm on like a smoky, like water, Lord of the Rings esque. Ooh, his vocals are really nice too. Very clean. I wish his vocals were a little bit higher in the mix, just like a tad, but, mm. oh. Wow, what is guitar is doing? It's just like wailing out this like one note. Ooh. Wow. Oh, his drum sounds so good in this section. I fuck with all of this. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Where are we going with this? Holy shit. Wow, his guitar tone sounds so good. Oh, it's very, like, clean. It's a very clean guitar tone. It's kind of giving me this, like, old school rock, like, southern vibe almost. Southern in more like, uh, if Cousin Roses isn't Southern, I don't know. It just makes me feel Southern. It's in a good way. Mmm. Mmm. And they gave it that space and then it's just like wailing on this. We're going on an adventure. We're traveling through time right now. And this is their opening track. This one also is 10 minutes long. So we have seven more minutes to go. <laughs> oh my god. This solo is fucking awesome. Ooh. Oh wow, that was panned so beautifully. Oh, that was panned so good. It was like banana na 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 ta ta banana na 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 ta ta. No no no, it was banana na yeah, banana na ta. Ba -na 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 mm. Love when people p play with that sort of. Mm. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna rewind it just a little bit because I know I just am about to miss this stop here. Oh. That stop. His drums are reminding me of like Dave Matthews band drums in terms of like. Tone, in terms of like the reverb tone. This riff, love it. Holy crap! Wait. Oh, this is beautiful. Wow. What are you doing in here? Oh, okay. Ooh. Can I get you up here? Come up here. you. Come here. You can come up here. No, not you. I could easily hum to this, dude. This is so pretty. Wow. Oh my god, what a gorgeous voice he has. Wow, I was not expecting that. Okay. We're rewinding this. I need to hear him just like serenade me with that note one more time. Hold up. After this amazing like little instrumental part. Oh, with the acoustic guitar underneath him. It's very medieval. Whoa. The pan over here. I'm about to, y'all, this song is making me really emotional. I'm about to cry already. Holy shit, that's beautiful. I'm like overwhelmed. Oh, don't bring the tears now, Jesus, please. Okay, so 
this is like emotionally so beautiful and I think it's just, I'm like hearing so many different things y'all like this girl is so dramatic but it's just so pretty acoustic guitars and metal does something to me but the way that they're layering it is fucking beautiful it's so pretty especially with his vocals super super like mmm they're just like right here and then you have the acoustic guitar layered here with the bass mmm and just the vocals everything oh my god holy shit we're only five minutes into this song this is our opener I'll stop talking oh my god and the change they have in the note. Ooh. And then they slap you with this fucking. Ooh. Ooh, where are we going with this? I like that. Dun, 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 dun. Wow. Wow, he held that guttural, what was it, scream, yell? He held that for a really long time. Ah, really nice kind of like raspiness to it. He held that tone for a good time. There wasn't really any like wavers in his vocals. He is a very diverse vocalist. Oh, the, the beautiful tone he had after that instrumental part. Mmm. Mmm. Crisp, clear vocals. And then he's able to do these like deeper notes, these like screams. I'm totally 100% into Opeth already. This shit's nuts. And we have so much more to listen to. And the technicality of this band. Mmm. They're telling a story. They're sending us on a journey. We're backpacking through the woods. We're fucking there. We're doing it. Let's continue. I love the highs and the low. Here's that riff. Dude. Wow, that guitar. I love that. It just makes me want to dance. It's such a catchy little hook. Oh my god, where are we going with this? Oh my god, the tears are starting again. Oh, you can't do piano to me now. Wow. Very, like, mm, kind of unsettling, but like kind of like happy, like hopeful. I have chills, like bona fide chills. I wanna cry. I got chills and I wanna cry. This is beautiful. This is like actually beautiful. And this piano, and they just like leave it on that note. Let the note just like ring out. Wow. Oh my god, that's the first song, and the how they recorded the piano in the end, super crisp and clean. I mean, this is a 20-year-old record, and I don't think I'm listening to the remastered version, but that was beautifully recorded. And this is just blowing my mind. You can tell that they spent so much time, just like death, perfecting every single note so that every note had a fucking meaning. There wasn't anything out of place. And this 10 minute song just took you on such a journey. And I think it's so cool that they ended it with a piano instrumental. Beautiful, beautiful way to end that song. Beautiful way to open up the record, too. Just to have, like, this little bit, just to kind of, mmm. Like a horror movie, almost like the curtains coming up, and then they smack you in the face with this track. But there were all different kinds of 
levels to it. And the drums sound amazing. Just like Dave Matthews style drums in terms of how they sounded, how, they, how they're recorded. And the reverb on them, you can kind of hear a little bit of like room noise. Oh my god. His vocals, the drums, the guitars, he had little riffs. Just the different, oh my god. Oh my god. I could talk about this song for hours. There's just, it's just dripping with talent. It's just dripping with absolute talent and just beautiful and beautiful, just, oh my God. Affinity is the opening track for Blackwater Park. Track refers to a strained relationship with the song title cleverly describing the push and pull of attraction and rejection. Wow. Yeah, it felt very like, yeah, like happy, hopeful, and then the sort of like mourning and, and unsettling sort of vibe. Wow. Although the word leper refers to someone with leprosy, the practice of casting lepers out from society as a form of quarantine has lent itself to a second meaning of the word. People who have been rejected or ostracized for unacceptable behavior. Conversely, an affinity means to have attraction to something or someone. Your body is mine to avail, such a tragic sight you are, slave under my creed, spurring me with those tears. The first chorus portrays an abusive relationship with the leper, leper being the abuser and the affinity being the complicated relationship. While the victim is spurring tears, the leper is taunting him or her. Oh, of course they would have deep meaning to go with their beautifully conducted orchestras of song. <laughs> okay. I'm sold. I'm already here. Uh, we're, we're just, honestly, I'm just going to probably cry some more and sneeze. I feel sneeze. I'm going to need a damn box of tissues for the rest of this record. Okay. Bleak. Let's go. Okay. Coming out of the piano instrumental. Wow. Already starting off on a high note. Whoa. because I'm falling in love with this band already. Holy shit, talking mushrooms. How did I not know about this band? And why haven't I listened to them like yesterday? The mix of acoustic guitar that they've got layered in here with everything else that's going on, divine. Fucking divine. And it's beautifully layered in there. It's really giving it this like almost medieval kind of vibe, you know? It's very um, Skyrim-esque. Makes me feel like super medieval. I don't know. It's just, it's, I'm really overwhelmed. This band and his gutturals, and they had these like wails that they were doing with the guitar. Huh! Ah. This riff in this part. This would slap live. Are you kidding me? Such a good transition. Oh. Yep. Yep. Ring it out. Oh! What a great way to come into this. 
Ooh. Super clean stops. Wow. Wow. Oh my god. This whole video is just gonna be me trying not to cry. Beautiful voice. I think that's like the highest we've heard. Phil from Pantera did some singing. And that was like, I think the first time we've really had like higher-ish singing. Um, I think Alex did a little bit of it in Slaughter to Prevail. But this is just melodic. This is meant to be like a part of the story. I'm like very like responsive to music so I'm sorry if like me crying is like weird to you but also like I just I love music so much and you can tell that these musicians put so much fucking effort into this album and it's like it's becoming one of my favorite records like you are literally watching me fall in love with this band that's why I'm crying because I'm like holy oh my god <laughs> Okay, just play it. Uh, oh, there's the acoustic guitar. Some good solid strums there. Tell me it's another it's another instrumental outro. Absolutely beautiful. Ooh. Tears are gonna escape me. It's kind of like coffee shop guitar vibes, but in like the best way possible. Ugh, the tone of his guitar here. Nice vocal effect. This double bass layered in there. Ugh. Wow. Wow. I'm just dancing. This makes me want to dance, dude. I'm fucking falling in love with this band. I'm falling in love with this band. Oh. Nice. Ooh. What is that sound? Super distorted. It's almost like they plugged in his guitar into an amp that wasn't really like working, you know, when the chord's bad. I have one question for you, Tim. Has there been, is there a modern metal band that has come close to the technicality and the like awesomeness and perfection of death and opeth because this album man is perfection already i can tell i'm in shock this band you got everything that you could possibly want in this record everything i could possibly want in this record beautiful guitar hooks and riffs you've got some singing with some harmony you got a little bit of gutturals you got a little bit of like screamy screams you've got beautiful drums some double bass just fucking piano instrumentals like what more could you possibly fucking want huh what more what more you know so we're gonna look at the lyrics real quick what is this whole album about Blackwater Park. 
beating, heart still beating for the cause, feeding, soul still feeding on the loss, aching, limbs are aching from the rush, fading, you are fading from my sight. Oh my gosh, I love the layout of that. You're close to the final word. You're staring right past me in dismay. A liquid seeps from your chest and drains me away. Okay, so there's a lead singer named Michael. I like the way he spells it. Michael. I'm not even going to try and pronounce his last name because that's Swedish. Bleak is a nine minute, I think it's a love ballad. Is it? Is this like a love ballad? Bleak is a nine minute progressive metal journey featuring crushing riffs, beautiful acoustic inter interludes, and a melodic but not corny chorus. No, it's definitely not corny. It fits with the whole song. The song itself is about a man whose lover cheats on with another. The man then makes his decision to kill his lover and dump her corpse in the lake. Heavy stuff. Acker felt the well there you go I tried to pronounce it wow interesting concept but I like it it definitely feels like a story um another sort of like lovish romance type um vibe which I feel like we haven't talked too much about love and and pain in a relationship too much, you know, um, and like breakups and dealing with heartache and stuff like that. Maybe we have, um, and it's just gone over my head, but I feel like this is like more like we're going through a really bad heartbreak, breakup, turmoil, being happy. Let's just go on this journey together in this instrumental thing. Yeah, my heart's feeling it. My heart is absolutely feeling it. Okay. I'm here for Harvest. So coming out of that, like, weird distorted thing, now we're going into Harvest. And I'm going to drink some water. Oh, this is making me thirsty. Mm -hmm. Oh, coming right back in with the drums and acoustic guitar. Oh. Wow. Oh. So medieval. Th makes me think of like Game of Thrones, dude. Wow, that's such a catchy. It's so beautiful on that acoustic guitar. Did you hear that? Something like that. It's just super faint and they're just layered. Oh, oh God. Okay, I'm fine with that. Wow, he went high up there too. from the human that's a lie that's a lie I forget their screams but like melodic wise wow wow it's kind of giving me it's gonna be an odd comparison but it's this chorus the way it like opened up is making me think of Fleet Foxes. If you've heard of that band, you know that they have their like huge on harmonies. They're like Mumford and Sons, group of dudes, and they just, the harmonies are fantastic. And they have a couple of their older albums are really, really nice instrumentation wise with those harmonies. Mm. And they're just like intricate. This is reminding me of it, just sort of how it kind of opened up mixed with like the little bit of harmonies they got going on and it just sounds very spacious and big and there's not too much like mm, there's like a lot of technical stuff that's kind of going on but it's like it's just uh, giving the vocals this nice pocket I think
they singing in English? I love the like one strum they give it. It's kind of also reminding me of Pink Floyd. Ooh, we're just keeping on with the journey, man. So we had a nice fade. Stay with me a while, rise above the vial. Name my final rest poured into my chest. Harvest is an acoustic ballad and describes the final minutes of the singer until his foreseeable death. In his last moments, he wishes for someone by his side and hopes he will always be remembered once he's gone. Wow. Into the orchard I walk, peering way past the gate, wilted scenes for us who couldn't wait. Drained by the coldest caress, stalking shadows ahead. Release your grip, let me go into the night. Halo of death, all I see is departure. Mourners lame it, but it's me who's the mortar. This one say, he's about to die, and I suppose the orchard means the heaven. He's dying as he's looking right into heaven. Wow. Whatever they're doing in Florida, and whatever they're doing in Sweden. Most artists that come out of like Sweden are pretty fucking good. I don't know what they do. It's like they just have like unlimited amounts of time to just like perfect whatever instrument or music thing that they're doing. Beautiful. I would expect nothing less. I think that you could accurately call this album a work of art. It is beautiful. It tells a story. Every single track, it's just, you don't really listen to this song or this album unless you're going through like the whole thing, <laughs> front to back. Next song, The Drapery Falls. More acoustic guitar. Ooh. Coming back in with the The bass sounds so good through this. like the f effect. Wow. This is one of the only albums that's had this much acoustic guitar in every song. Like, I'm pretty sure they've had it in every single song. And it's been the first album, first artist on here that's had real clean straight through piano. Dude, if this album has choir in it, I'm done. The tears are, are just gonna fall, okay? I'm already really close to fucking bawling my eyes out, but if they have a choir somehow in this record, the dam is broken, okay? <laughs> the silence of your seclusion. I love this. Mm. I wonder what kind of guitar he's playing. Acoustic. Oh, this guitar solo is about to fuck me up, isn't it? It 
It's like he's making that fucking guitar sing, dude. It's like that, this guitar solo is like another vocalist. That's how good he's playing this solo. <laughs> oh. Because you don't expect that. Ooh. Well, we're in some troubled waters now. Very unsettling. Really interesting drum pattern. It's like kind of double bass. I like it though, because you kind of built it up. They built it up with this like sort of unnerving instrumental part, and now you've got this like weird sort of like layout of the drums. So it's like you kind of want to be in rhythm, but it like makes you feel a little anxious. You're like, okay, where are we going with this? Very nice, like, wet reverb on his vocals. Like wow, what a change up! You don't, you don't expect the gutturals either in the beginning of this. But then they like have this guttural part and then they have a very clean like fade out. Very clean and quick fade out. Go right into this like mm, guitar part. And then he just serenades you. He's just like, ah, nah, nah, nah. you don't expect it. And it's beautiful that way. Oh my god. Oh, I fuck with all of this. And then they're gonna bring it down again, aren't they? Has any of these songs been in a video game? Skyrim or Assassin's Creed? I feel like that's where it would belong. Beautifully slow fade. Torturously slow fade. <laughs> in the best way possible. Ugh. Thrust me back to the day. The silence of your seclusion brings night into all you say. Pull me down again and guide me into pain. I'm counting nocturnal hours, drowned visions in haunted sleep. Faint flickering of your powers leaks out to show what you keep. He's a beautiful lyricist. So this was the lead single from this record. Although the album did not chart in either the US, UK, or Norway, the edited promo single for the song, which was shortened to five minutes for radio play, helped increase the band's exposure considerably. Although Opeth's two previous releases, My Arms, Your Hearse, and Still Life, our concept albums, 2001's Blackwater Park does not tell a clear-cut story. Ooh, you're telling me they have two concept albums? One of the bands I'm in is working on a D&D concept album right now, and it's been the most fun thing to participate in, because I'm just, like, wailing out these, like, medieval notes, these medieval, t like, vocal stuff. Mm. Uh, there is no consensus as to what the drapery falls is about. However, it could be about depression, loss, or even guilt for murder. I always tend to write about death because that is my favorite subject and it is so wide. You can write so many different things about it. This time there are some songs which deal with the subject, but also stuff that is kind of strange. Interesting. It annoys me that, like, Bands that have longer songs can't be, like, they're not super promoted on the radio. Um, like Queen, for example. Was it um, Rhapsody? Did you see that show? That, that movie? It's a whole thing about how that, like, one song that they have. They didn't think it was going to be worthy to play on the radio, but they were like, no, bro, get that shit on the radio. Day and night are often used as metaphors for being happy and depressed. The narrator is using the same metaphor as if to talk to his depression. If 
by silently secluding the narrator, he has not yet gotten used to being happy. Like Kurt Cobain said in the course of Farmer Francis, I miss the comfort in being sad. Mm. We are, yeah, this, I mean, there might not be sort of a concept to this, but almost instrumentation-wise, they're keeping it to a con it's almost like it is a concept like it's just continuing it's just one long song and there's just like little instrumental breaks in between and please let me know I feel like they're repeating riffs that they've used in previous songs you know like I th it sounds familiar it's like there was something in harvest I think um, that was like a riff that was in bleak. Am I wrong about that? Um, or am I just like overwhelmed in my feelings? <laughs> Cause it would be really cool if that's what they were doing was introducing maybe like one or two riffs and then they kind of just repeat it through out the record, but in different kind of concepts and different type of things. So it's really this journey. Um, yeah. Instrumentation wise, I feel like we're, we're going through something. We're on a story. So, next song is Dirge for November. I don't know what Dirge is, but I'm here for it. Here is no oh. Gone. No. No. Jazz guitar. Mm. Oh, and he just fucking fingers that shit, dude. Like butter. Just slathers that in there. Where we're listening to this whole song over. I don't care. Please. I love the breath he takes right in there. Turning no. That's so beautiful. Da -da 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 -da. Chills. Absolute chills. <sighs> really reminding me a lot of um, Desolate Ways by Morbid Angel. That was like on repeat last night. I was in my feels and this is just putting me in my damn feels. I love the like little minor notes that he's just like dipping in there just a little bit. So it's like it's this gorgeous melodic piece but it kind of makes you feel a little like un unnerved you know. It's like, don't get too comfortable in this sort of melodic state that we're in. This is phenomenally gorgeous. Beautiful, absolutely fantastically beautiful. Yep, there you go. I was gonna, I was waiting for the slap in the face. I'm overwhelmed by how beautiful this is. This guitar. God, it sounds so sad, but it sounds like it's aching, like it's hurting. His gutturals are super nice. And he's kind of harmonizing with it too in this section. It's such a great balance of just, there's so much melodically that's happening and there's so much technical music stuff that I'm hearing. And it's just, it's, you got these gutturals and he, I love that he's not doing it the, the whole time because it's almost like when he does do the gutturals, he is, really particular about where he's placing them so that it's very important where he where he's placing them it makes a statement you've got this beautiful little like instrumental 
jazzy acoustic guitar part gets smacked in the face with this other huge mourning wailing guitars and then this gutturals just mm. you forget that you're listening to opeth you forget that you're listening to at least in my i don't know i don't know it's the first time i feel like you would just forget that there's even vocals in it and then you get just phenomenal phenomenal band i'm here for it i'm sold i'm there panties off ready to go Leave it on a cliffhanger like that? Oh no, we're keeping going. Gorgeous, phenomenal. I feel like you would end it like that. I feel like I need like a really good cry after this record. Oh my god. I knew Opeth was gonna make me cry. I knew it. Dirge for November. I'm here for you. I'm here. Just gorgeous. A work of art. It's not even an album anymore. It is a masterpiece. Work of art. It needs to be in a museum. By far needs to be in a museum. Holy frick balls. Oh my gosh, this is happening. Okay. Dirge on November. Is this what this is called? Dirge for November. Quick look at the lyrics. The dirge for November is a typically dark and depressing Opeth song about loneliness, seemingly about a person in a post-apocalyptic world attempting to adjust to the change. Ooh, it could refer to the solitude after a relationship ends. Yeah. So we got a lot of really cool concepts in this record. Definitely talking about, I think a big theme is like a relationship, but like also dealing with just death and the things that come with just being a person and dealing with a relationship. Loss, being happy in a relationship, being like depressed and trying to like not feel lonely and post a lot apocalyptic world is really cool i'm a huge like mm, i love end of the world movies poke a lot post i don't know i can't say that right now post apocalyptic movies super into um okay the next song we have is the funeral portrait more acoustic guitar whole album. Nice fade up. Almost sounds like a 12 string. Wow. The tone is so much different in this song. Kind of uplifting. Oh yeah, we're going to battle in this song, dude. Oh. Wow, we just went through like three different movements. All of their transitions are so clean. This song has had like four different massive changes. There's so much going on, but I heard a little double bass. Guitar riffs, really catchy. Vocals, we got gutturals. Oh my gosh. They're starting rough. They're just slapping you in the face with this. So we're about to have some beautiful instrumentals. As a closer, I feel it. I feel it. You can't not headbang during this section. Oh, great. Love that guitar riff. like a little bit echo. 
little bit. This is going off to war song. Hell yeah. Beautiful guttural. Stented. Wow. I don't know if he had a harmony that kind of joined in to the end of that guttural, but it sounded like he had this like deeper guttural that was kind of, you know, going up. And then he had this harmony that was the higher sort of tone, I guess, the more goblin-y kind of groan that was just like layered until they both just meshed into one. Phenomenal. Here we go. Here we go. Wow. What? their guitar solos some of them sound like they shouldn't be in this song because I could I hear like a totally different band in the tone of it but it fucking works dude oh it works just very clean tones very classic rock but mmm you could say the same thing for the jazz guitar stuff too you wouldn't expect that to be in here or even work and it fucking does. Yeah, that guitar just told me its whole life story. This fucking riff, dude. Makes me want to break shit. Oh, with the acoustic guitar fucking medievaling out underneath it. Holy crap. Oh, oh, this is whole album just ruined my whole day in the best way. This just changed my whole life. Ooh. Ooh. We're building up to something. Wow. It almost sounds like a barbershop quartet and like this like this little callback thing that he's doing this guitar's in therapy dude i feel like i'm just like, listening to all of his problems he is mourning it's the slow fades i have to be worried about though you slow fade a song and i'm gonna have I'm gonna have something smack me in the face with Patterns in the Ivy, aren't I? So Patterns in the Ivy is the shortest one on here. This is like a very interesting album too. And I kind of mentioned it a little bit in the beginning, but like, um, originally when I first saw this album, I was like, oh, eight songs, short-ish. Normally an eight track album's about 45 minutes. No, 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 they have one that's, like they have two songs that are like 10 minutes and then they have one that's like 12 and I'm like, okay, this is like, this is at least 12 songs worth of material. If you're like thinking classic, like three minutes and 30 seconds songs, you know? So it's a long album. Uh, Funeral Portrait. Let's just take a look through here real quick. The Funeral Portrait. Uh, by the window, morning's breath on the sill. Idle hands given another try, so you wait and you savor the moment. Outside, the canvas turned white, ruby eyes in the fog. Talks about the man's struggle with death, man's struggle with death and accepting his final fate. The funeral portrait in question is in reference to this endless struggle where your entire life leads up to your death. So in turn, you take all your life in painting your funeral portrait. 
So it closes in on you as you get older and when the portrait is finally complete, so is your life. Patterns in the Ivy and then we have the title track Blackward Park, which is a 12 minute song. So we're going to get through it. Patterns in the Ivy. Let's go. Yep. Wow. Like almost like that he's they're taking the same riffs, but just if they're not taking the same riffs and using them throughout multiple songs in this record, then they're at least taking the same riffs and changing them enough to where it's kind of familiar, but it's it's something different. So the story continues. This guitar. Ugh. No. You don't have piano with this. Breaking my heart and also making me feel like everything's gonna be okay at the same time. That is literally this whole album. Ooh, wow. fade. Wait, what happened? That's it? Pat is in the ivy. I thought it was, oh, it's so short. No. Oh, it's like just this little interlude. Ooh, we're about to get slapped in the face with this, with this final track, aren't we? All right. All right. I'm prepared. I'm prepared. Let's go into it. Fading up. Oh my god. You gotta go out with a bang. Title track. Don't disappoint me. Their songs are so easy to like just vibe to and dance to. Ooh. It's almost like doing this sort of call and response too. But no 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 you have that one. But I don't know exactly what it is, but it almost sounds like this little Mm, call and response type thing. This guitar, she's ha she's got a problem. She's having none of it. She's angry. reverb to that uh too they did it in time afterwards uh 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 mm. such a like hit opener oh. this is a different guitar tone kind of a mix of the jazz distortion just a little bit. It's like a new character has been just introduced to the story. Wow, how did he manage to make his guitar sound like a violin? Wow. Oh, the vocals. Yep. Phenomenal. Holy shit. Let's see. 
hits in the verse. And you have just real low in that mix. The acoustic just following it with like open strums. Open chords. Wow, that bass. Wow, he's picking that thing. It's kind of funky. Oh, it's a real funky bass that he's doing. He's just slapping that thing. Oh my god, there's so much going on. I feel like the bass is just holding down the fort. It makes me want to dance. Did we just pick up speed? I think we did. That's okay, I can dance faster. My God. Oh. Oh. Oh my God. I actually am crying. Holy shit. I think that is the most beautiful album I've ever heard. Like, not even gonna lie. I think that that is, like, literally the most beautiful record I've ever heard. This record is, like coming really close to taking Sound of Perseverance place. It's very close. Oh my god, this record was phenomenal, y'all. I don't have any words. It's, it's an absolute masterpiece. Masterpiece. Everything about it is perfect. Perfect. Just it was beautiful and I feel like so in my feels now <laughs> but in the in the most beautiful way I don't even know how to describe it I've never heard a band like this before and it has so many different elements and you had so many different instruments too and I love that the acoustic guitar was a huge part of the instrumentation for this record. And every single riff was just filled with like pain and just told a story. It was either like anger or pain or I don't know. It was just, it was beautiful. Yeah, this album is perfection. Instrumentation wise lyrical wise nothing is out of place everything feels right makes sense tells a story you have jazz vibes you have these clean guitar parts you have some distorted vocals gutturals beautiful singing ah oh. anyway i digress i've talked a lot but i honestly am so happy so i'm gonna leave you now and uh probably go cry <laughs> but thank you so much for watching if you are still here I really appreciate all of y'all um, you have been so patient waiting for this video and I really do appreciate it so I hope you enjoyed and if you want to join the discord don't forget it's the mosh pit you can go follow the link down below to join and uh, subscribe if you haven't already and let me know more stuff about Opeth if you want to see more reactions of Opeth um from a different album or a few albums like i usually do just let me know um y'all already know the deal and uh i'll see you very very soon bye guys